It's me. And me. Hi, I'm Colleen. I'm Alex. And you are watching the Biblio Feline. Today we are going to be doing the Rapid Fire Book Tag by Girl Reading. I'll leave her link down below. What do you think about this? I actually don't know very much at all about this, so yeah. it'll be fun for both of us. He's going in blind. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, without further ado, I'm going to start reading the questions. Okay. Ebook or physical book? Uh, physical book, all the way. Physical no book doubt. for me, too, definitely. Paperback or hardback? Hardback. Yeah, hardback. I'm going to say hardback. paperback because I think they're more comfortable to read. Hardbacks uh, stay alive for much longer, so I like them better. Online or in-store book shopping? That one's a tough one because I like both of them a lot. So I like being able to look at reviews that other people have done for books before. I usually try and buy them, so... I don't know. I've worked at many bookstores, like, throughout my life. So yes, <laughs> so, like, at least three. I do love working at bookstores and, like, just being, like, in the bookstore, like, feeling, but I don't know. That's a tough one. I guess if I had to pick one, physical bookstores, because I can actually, like, touch them. I'm going to say online. I feel like we do more online shopping. So yeah. So, I'm saying, I'm saying online. Yeah. Trilogies or series? Series, for me. I, I don't like them having to be necessarily, like constricted by only three books like if the story demands a longer period of time i should go for it i want to say series as well i don't really like series either i think i get turned off by a series typically i, I prefer standalones but if i had to choose i would want a series over a trilogy heroes or villains 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 yeah definitely like out of the memorabilia that we have here in the house, most of it is villain oriented. <laughs> villain. Villain. <laughs> I just think that they're cooler. They have yeah. better stories. They're more intriguing. A book you want everyone to read. Never night. <laughs> I'm gonna say a true growth in Brooklyn, just because to spice things up. Okay. Recommend an underrated book. An underrated book? For an underrated book that I like, I think I would go with um Halo Fall of Reach. I don't think many people take anything like in the Halo book series very seriously because it's a book series based off of a video game. But this book series is actually very, very good. And the first book in the series, Halo Fall of Reach, is awesome. So that's one I would recommend. I'm going to say The Gollum and the Ginny by, I don't know, <laughs> The Gollum and the Ginny. And we'll leave pictures, <laughs> obviously, because... It got talked about a little bit, but it's such a good, beautiful story, and it's fun, and it has fantastical elements and historical fiction elements, so if you haven't read it and you like those things, definitely read it. Yeah. The last book you finished. The last book I finished was God's Grave, which, shocker, shocker, is the sequel to Nevernight, my favorite book of all time, and I loved it. The last book I finished was We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson, and I loved it. It was wonderful, so you should all read that. The um, last book you bought. Oh. Well, I can't say that yet because it's in a related video of um, Colleen's book box. Which you will see that later on. But the last book that I bought for me um, would probably be... So the last book that I bought was The Last Fahi by Tahani Nelson. Thank you very much for writing this, Tahani. She's actually in the same um, publishing company that I'm a part of, which is Ink Shares. We'll leave and her link down below. Yes. We haven't read it yet, book. but it sounds really, really cool, and you should all purchase it. Yes, and she is incredibly friendly. She actually sent me like a personal message just out of the blue, just to be nice, and is a very cool person. So thank you again, Tahani, really. And the last book that I read was, no, the last book that I bought was The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. Thank you, Chelsea Donnelly Reads, for the recommendation. The next question is, the weirdest thing you've used as a bookmark? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's the one that I'm currently using, which is the price tag from one of your, um, like, shirts from Torrid. Yep. <laughs> it's been very well worn. <laughs> Weirdest thing I've used as a bookmark. I don't. I don't know. Oh, tissue paper. I have to. I have to say. Yeah. You've done that before. Like tissues. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not used, but. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, used books. Yes or no. 
Yes, we yes. do love used books. The majority of our books are used. Yeah, like probably like 80% of them are used. Alex used to work at Second and Charles, which is a used bookstore, so. Yeah, I, got, I, got brought home, I brought home books just about like every day that I went to work, like a stack of them. 30% off, already used prices. And it was nice. Top three favorite genres. Um, sci-fi, fantasy, and horror. mystery. Yeah, like mystery, thriller, horror. <laughs> <laughs> that was me tying all the genres together. <laughs> mine, mine are literary fiction, fantasy, and sci-fi. I'm combining those two together. I'm cheating. And young adult contemporary. I cheated with mystery, thriller, and horror. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, borrow or buy? Buy. I don't like borrowing books. And it's not anything, like, against the people that are trying to offer the books. It's just... We want to make sure that if some... We don't want to return a book that's bad. Like, we don't want to fail to return a book is what I'm trying to say. That, and I just like the feeling of owning it rather than like knowing that this is something I have to give up at the end of it. For me personally, I don't know, because I borrow a lot of audiobooks from the library and I think the library is a great resource, but we also buy a lot of our books too. Yeah. So I'm going to say both. I think both have their benefits. They're selling. Yeah. She's not going to like it. Oh, she hates me. <laughs> <laughs> Sully used to let her hold her all the time, and, and then, it just like... broke. Who knew? It was, like, uh, like, one day, she woke up and decided no more. I think it's because <laughs> she's gotten kind of fat, so it's awkward and uncomfortable for her. But... Same. Yeah. <laughs> characters or plot? I don't know what that question means. Do you prefer a book that is more character-driven or plot-driven? Ideally, they'd be both. I mean, like, I don't think you can really separate the two. Like, without a good plot, what do the characters really mean? Nothing. You're just, like, reading, like, elongated, like, biographies. I'm going to say plot. <laughs> <laughs> My answer stands. <laughs> <laughs> but I agree that characters are really important. <laughs> Long books or short books? Uh, depends. Like, a good short book is... Like, they have to be good for, like, what they Pick are. Pick one! I don't want to. I'm going to say long books. I don't read a lot of long books because I'm intimidated by them, but you get so much more out of a long book. And I feel like when I read a long book, I enjoy it more than a short book. I like good books. <laughs> <laughs> long or short, it doesn't matter as long as it's good. Long chapters or short chapters? <laughs> You guess what I'm about to say? I'm going to say short chapters because I think that they go by faster. I'm going to say make the make it worth it. Just like make it do a good Start story. An answer! It is an answer. Um, name the first three books you think of. Landline. Uh, Nevernight. Um, the Shining. And Call of Cthulhu. Okay. Landline. I'll Give You the Sun. And Lola and the Boy Next Door books that are right there um, <laughs> books that make you laugh or cry books that make me laugh um amy poehler's book that one definitely made me laugh um <laughs> amy poehler's book also made me cry <laughs> <laughs> it was a whirlwind of emotions it's so good i loved it um a little life made me cry for me, um, All Systems Red made me laugh a lot. Um, Nevernight made me laugh a lot. I wasn't going to say it, but I was hoping she would. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's all I talked about. Um, a book that made me cry. Uh, I don't think a book has directly made me cry. I think if I was like drinking alcohol beforehand, it made me be more predisposed. Susceptible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Our world or fictional worlds? Fictional worlds all the way. I, I don't really like our world that much. I agree. <laughs> as long as I could have him and my cats. 
That's right. Audiobooks, yes or no? Yes. No. I love them. I just, it's something about, like, listening to a narrator, like, say the story, like, in their own voice, just, like, takes me out of the story. Because, like, my mind can, like, auto, like, change, like, everyone, like, build, like, a different image. I know that's, like, how stories were, like, are originally done and stuff, but it just doesn't feel the same for me. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? Yes. Yeah. You All know. the time. Like, we try to be better about it, but, you know. Book to movie or book to TV ad adaptation? Um... I would say book to TV adaptation. Yes, I Because I feel like agree. It, can, it can definitely build out the story to what it originally was a lot better. Series or standalones? Standalones. Did we already do this? We did series or trilogies. Oh. Um, standalones. Series. series? It's fine. <laughs> I mean, if it, if it can tell a story. All right. And that was the last question. I am going to tag some people. I'm, tag I'm tagging A Wandering Mind. May reads Scribble Maven, Red Door Reader, We Read in Bed, and Hannah Books and Other Things. So I will leave all their channels down below so you should subscribe to them because I'm sure they'll do it and you can watch them do this tag. You got to know a little bit more <laughs> about us and how we differ in taste because we definitely do. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye.